In this video we will learn how to draw a rainbow in Adobe Illustrator. And I've seen the video the instruction videos on on some of the other channels YouTube um, on how to make a rainbow and quite frankly they're doing it the hard way. Uh, I'm going to show you a much easier way of doing it that can not only be used to draw circular rainbows but any any shape of rainbow that you would want. So, first we need to get the colors of the rainbow. Um, not my memory isn't perfect, and so I'm gonna just I just googled an image of a rainbow, and this one looks pretty good. You'll see some other stylistic ones like this one over here, um, like this right here. See, so this one's not so great because it starts with red and ends in red. We know the rainbow doesn't actually do that, so um, this one looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna right click, copy the copy image, then Control V. And then that way we have a local copy here just to, just to get pull the colors from. So I'm just going to draw a line. And I'm going to just draw a vertical line. Okay. And let's just set the thickness, thickness at 1. The default's going to be blue. Actually, your default's probably going to be black, but I don't know why it's showing up as blue here. But anyways, um, now I'm going to go over here to the right to where I see gradient. You can also click over here. Uh, if you don't, but I, I like the easy hand over here because this usually pulls up a uh, more detailed menu. If you don't see it over here on the right, just go up to Window and go down to Gradient. And when you click on it, it's going to pop up a window here. You just drag it over to the right. And I have a lot of tools over here, and I recommend including all these tools. In about every piece of artwork, I use almost every single one of these buttons. Okay. okay so, all right. so make sure you're clicked on this uh, this vertical line. I'm gonna go over here to click on gradient. We we just drew a line. I wanna I wanna switch this to the stroke. So if the stroke, this 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 represents a stroke, and this represents change in the fill. We just drew a line, so it doesn't have a. I mean, is you can't see the fill. So we want to change this to the stroke. And yours probably doesn't look like a rainbow like this. What it probably looks like is let me just start from scratch. It might look like something like this. Okay. All right, so this is going to apply that gradient across the stroke. Okay. So we need to add the colors. And so let's just start from the left and going right. I'm going to click on this dot here and then click over here to the eyedropper. And then I'm just going to click on this red. And I'm going to click right about here. That's going to add another point or set point uh, in the color gradient. And my eyedropper is still filled, so that's, okay, so that's good. So I'm going to click on the orange. Probably don't need to add the orange, but we're just going to click on it anyways. I'm just going to go along these colors and add them. Real simple. And purple. All right, let's move. Oh. You can move them around, you can change kind of how solid the line is or how sharp it changes to the next color. That That is up to your discretion. It'll look fine even without making any adjustments. I'm just making sure that they're even um, just because I'm OCD like that. Okay, so now let's take a look at our line that we've drawn. So you, don't, you probably don't see much of a difference, but if you really zoom in, you'll see that it already looks like a rainbow. Now... I could just increase the thickness of this line and there's my rainbow. Problem with this is if I, let me just copy this. If I could, if I draw onto, like if I just use a pencil, okay, and I draw that line, yeah, it creates a rainbow and this is a pretty cool line effect. Uh, so you might find this useful in other artworks, but this is not really the rainbow that I'm looking for. I'm looking for something where it looks like a rainbow, like an actual rainbow. Um, and no matter how you draw this line, it's never really going to capture that, unless it's completely vertical. We want one, we want a line that we can curve around and it follows that and it continues that gradient. Okay. So how do we do that? Now 
I want to create the first thing I want to do is I want to create that gradient that we're looking for. Uh, so I want to create a horizontal line this time. And see now we've got the colors distributed this way. But if you rotate it, you see the difference in the, the coloring scheme. But anyways, this is what we want because what we're going to do is we're going to copy this over to the brush, brushes. And we're going to drag it over here and then we're at it and we're going to want to click on art brush and it's going to say we have an error because this contains certain properties that cannot be implemented in the the art brush tool so we have to make one more change to this and then that property is that gradient it, it, you can't add things with gradient in here if you go, let's change the line thickness. We're going to bring this back down to one. We only want it one pixel wide. Still has the same coloring scheme as before, but it's just one pixel. And we're going to go to object. And before, before we do this, let's just, I'm just going to copy it. I always like to copy my things throughout just in case, especially at this stage, because you may want to, once you draw the line, you may want to change the distribution of the different colors like you may want to make one band wider than the other so having it right here just makes it a lot more easier you can always delete it afterwards so i'm going to rasterize it okay what that's going to do is it's going to take that line and it's going to turn into pixels and they're going to be one pixel wide you really want one pixel wide so all right so we're just going to click and we want the background as transparent click okay now when we drag this over click on art brush click OK and so this would basically create what we were doing before where you where we have this you know elongated colors um, not really what you're looking for we want to we want to change the orientation to this way so that the 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 rainbow gradient gets copied along the brush instead of being stretched through the brush I guess kind of click OK so now let's just uh, let's play around. I want to use the pencil tool. It should be you know the fifth one down. Click and hold. You might see the shaper tool. We don't want the shaper tool. We want the pencil tool. So this is probably what it looks like in your menu. If you don't see the two columns, go up to Window, Toolbars, and click on Advanced, and that's going to pop up two toolbars. I, I like that better than the other way. So I'm going to click and hold on this. And click on the pencil. And now we can just draw something like that and click and see there's the rainbow okay so we're going to draw a simple circle and we're going to change it to this and then we're going to cut it over here and then cut it over here and delete the bottom ones and in order to make it to where it, it comes down like a full rainbow, use a clipping mask, which is preferable. Let's, uh, so we can see the size of our clipping mask. And so I click on it and then I right click and I say make clipping mask. Okay, and so there's a rainbow. You might want to make it a little, uh, give it a little bit of a transparency to make it look a little bit more like a rainbow. Um, but there's all sorts of things that you can do to make this look, um, you know, to change the distribution of the colors. You can make the endpoints transparent. That might uh, pop. They might make it look a little more realistic. So let's let's do that real quick so you can see what that will look like. So that's why I like to always have this version that has the gradient still intact. Because then I can just go back to the gradient and say, you know, that's something I didn't really like about that. So I'm gonna move these in. Oh. Okay, just a little tighter. Okay. Then click on the end here. This time I'm gonna make it opacity zero. I'll make this one. Let's make it all the way at the location of the zero percent, and then make it zero as well. Okay. 
So you can see if you zoom in, it did that. Hold Alt. Remember, we got to change it to the rasterize. We got to rasterize it. Rasterize. Click OK. Drag. Art brush. Click OK. Change the orientation. And click OK. So another way of doing the rainbow is to make it a full circle. And you can rotate it. So that the solid edges are right here. And then you can add a clipping mask on top of that. So that it's the way you want. I like both. Right click. And then make clipping mask. So if you notice that the colors are reversed, purple is on the bottom on the inside of the circle here, but red is on the inside of the circle on, on our artwork. So I kind of did this on purpose to show you how to change it in case you, know, you run into the same problem. So again, this is why I always recommend copying this line that has the gradient and we're going to go over here to the gradient. So there's our gradient. And now you could manually invert all of these colors or switch the order of these colors, but there's a handy tool right up here that do that for you. So if you click on that, it reverses the order of all of the gradients for you. So now if we copy this again, object, rasterize, click OK. Go up to brushes, let's click away so we unselect that. So we can click on this and delete it so we don't make, we don't, uh, um, let's see, we can just remove strokes. That's just going to take the old stroke that we have and just remove that, that brush from it. All right, so we're going to copy this one over, make it an art brush, click OK, change the orientation, click OK. There's our new color, our new gradient. Now I'm gonna double click again. So I go inside this clipping mask that we had, click on it again and click. And so there is the proper uh, rainbow, you know, with the right colors. So the nice thing about this is you can do all sorts of things with this line other than draw a circle. So you can say rainbow, in Adobe Illustrator. Okay. So I click in the text tool, and then I'm gonna make this larger. And let's say I wanna do a squiggly underline for this rainbow in Adobe Illustrator. So I'm going to draw a line. I'm gonna click the switch. This is gonna switch it from the fill to the outline. So I'm gonna draw a line here. Let's make this line a little longer uh, than the actual uh, text. And then I'm going to add an effect, distort and transform, zigzag, to make it smooth. And let's increase the size a little bit. Click OK. Then I can click on this rainbow. Look at that. So I have a nice little rainbow underline. And the cool thing about it is if you change the size of the, the thickness of the line, it changes the thickness of the shape. See? And one will be the default. So you can do all sorts of really cool effects with this now that you've created the brush stroke instead of drawing individual lines. And it's a much smoother appearance. So that is how you draw a rainbow and Adobe Illustrator.